essential oils has been used for centuries, and although essential oils themselves haven't changed much, the way in which they are diffused has. My name is Faith, and today we're going to be going over the four different ways that essential oils are diffused, and how they work so that you can pick the best one for you. The four main ways that essential oils diffusers work are through evaporation, heat dissemination, nebulization, and ultrasonics. Evaporation is when the warmth of the atmosphere causes the moisture to turn into vapor. You can see examples of this everywhere, from the water in the ocean or puddles after a rainstorm being heated up by the sun. The two most common examples of essential oil diffusers that uses evaporation are reed diffusers and evaporative diffusers. Reed diffusers are very common and you often see them in little nooks of the home or in the washroom. They are a little hard to control though, as it is the heat of the room that causes the oil to seep to the tops of the sticks and evaporate into the air. As you can probably guess, the warmer the room is, the faster it will take for the essential oil to diffuse into the room and evaporate. Evaporative aromatherapy diffusers work quite similarly as a reed diffuser, but is slightly more technologically advanced. Instead of having the essential oils go through a reed, what happens is that you have the essential oil in the pad inside a small diffuser that will have a battery with a light fan at the bottom. When you turn it on, the fan at the bottom will create a slight breeze, causing the essential oil to evaporate into the air. The benefit of this type of diffuser is that you can turn it on and off as you please. The next way that essential oils can be diffused is through heat dissemination. Yes, evaporation may still be involved, but instead of using the heat in the air or the environment, it uses a heating source such as a coil or a candle or an open flame to heat up the essential oils to evaporate it into the air. Heat is one of the oldest ways that essential oils are diffused. Two of the most common examples of heat dissemation diffusers are pottery diffusers and electric aromatherapy diffusers. Pottery diffusers have a hollow interior where you place a candle or an open flame that then heats up a little dimple on top. The dimple on top of the candle will hold a mixture of oil with essential oil or water with essential oil. When the candle is burning, it'll warm up the oil or water above it, releasing the scent into the air. An electric aromatherapy diffuser works very similarly to a pottery diffuser, except instead of using a candle or an open flame, it uses a heated coil with a waterproof casing to heat up the essential oil. This is a great benefit in modern invention because since the heated coil is controlled by a thermostat, it prevents any overheating that may damage the properties of the essential oil. Nebulization is a process that transforms liquids into microscopic droplets by combining them with air under pressure. This was originally invented to aid with medical treatments for certain lung diseases, but is now used for a variety of purposes. A nebulized diffuser works quite similarly to an aerosol, except without the ozone-damaging CFCs used in a spray can. Yes, it still involves heat, but it's used a little bit differently than a heat disseminator. Instead of heating the oil directly, aromatherapy nebulizers heat the oil at the bottom of a diffuser with a light or a coil. This causes the air pressure to rise, and as the air lifts up to the top of the nozzle, it'll collect the essential oils with it, spouting it out in a very fine mist. The essential oil atmosphere is undiluted with a water or carrier oil, meaning the scent that you have will be much more concentrated, but also you may go through essential oil a little bit more quickly. The final way that essential oil diffusers can work are through ultrasonics. That sounds kind of space agey, doesn't it? Well, these high frequency sound waves actually cannot be seen or heard, but you might have heard of some common examples, such as delivering a picture of a baby to you before it's delivered, or maybe disintegrating bacteria, or even helping dolphins communicate or find their way under the sea. Our Volante Roma diffusers use these ultrasonic sound waves by having an electrically powered vibrating plate at the base of the diffuser to create a continuous series of inaudible oscillations. I have my diffuser running right now. Do you hear anything? Probably not. These silent vibrations then breaks apart the essential oils into these tiny particles that vaporizes into the air to easily help me freshen up my home. To set up my diffuser, I simply mix a couple drops of essential oil with water and fill it to the fill line on the diffuser before turning it on. I hope this video has been helpful for you to understand a little bit more about how essential oil diffusers work and which one may be best suited for you. You can visit our Volante Roma store today to create an oasis of wellness in your home with our award-winning handmade diffusers and organic essential oils. You can also find me personally on Instagram at its faith time for content about wellness and personal growth. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to not miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.